All right, what is going on, hustlers? Welcome back into Hustlepedia. Today, we are going to be taking a look across the crypto gaming markets. As always, we're going to be trying to figure out where the value is across the board today, as there was a pretty big dip in the market today, as far as some of these coins, a lot of projects did take a little bit of a dip took some profits, a lot of people on these coins that have been absolutely pumping. But for a value buyer, for a value investor, you love it when the market dips. You love it whenever those juicy, juicy dips come and you have that opportunity to add to your stacks on certain projects. So we're gonna get into some projects today that either had a little bit of a fallback uh, and are either recovering right now or that have surged and still have value. Uh, and we'll also get into about five or six new projects that we haven't discussed here on the channel before. Uh, and we'll get into exactly why I love love all of these projects and why today these have massive massive value still uh, as far as q4 and the adoption of crypto gaming in general a lot of these projects have legitimate utility uh, that will come to the forefront and the limelight very soon with this metaverse and crypto gaming narrative that's going on and we've been covering this on the channel for months here guys uh you know we're not if you've been with our channel, you have been making major, major gains. Go ahead and get into it, guys. Uh, I don't want today's video to be 25 minutes like yesterday, so let's go ahead and get rolling. Uh, if you're new to the channel, be sure to drop down and hit that subscribe button. We come out with brand new cryptocurrency, crypto gaming videos here every single day on the channel. Hit that like button and be sure to leave a comment down below on your favorite projects across crypto gaming and which projects you have been making gains on as well. <clears throat> let's go ahead and get into it right now, uh, D-Race, I told you yesterday that D-Race is undervalued. This thing has just been going up and down, kind of consolidating, having some sell-offs. It was about time for some buy pressure to come in and kind of get this thing up a little bit. And D-Race now is at all-time highs and running. Uh, 463 right now as we're recording. And I don't see D-Race slowing down as far as Q4. We're going to see D-Race probably fall between $250 and $500 million market cap. I'll stand by that from yesterday's video. I think D-Race gets there. This horse metaverse is going to be massive. If you look up the total valuation of the horse racing industry that is real, then you will look at the adoption of metaverses and NFTs that are absolutely swarming right now the, the, they are absolutely mainstream at this point now it is in the limelight that these things are building with mark zuckerberg coming out and building a metaverse and d-race will have a clientele with these nft horses with the horse racing industry being so massive uh so d-race good to see it's at all-time highs uh ultra the gaming decks we covered on the channel literally like a week and week week and a half ago and it was literally in the gutter <clears throat> literally in the gutter you could have gotten about 60 cents, 65 cents, I think, was when we recorded the video. Um, and this is just a use case that is going to be adopted. Steam banned crypto games off their platform. Ultra is a crypto gaming distribution platform that is partnered with Ubisoft, among many other tier one partnerships. Ultra's use case is flat out right in front of your face. They are a game distribution platform to serve a variety of game services under a single roof that are blockchain games. So the use case is right out in front and Ultra was just a massive value buy down here and we absolutely scooped that up. Uh, you look at Chain Guardians has gone crazy since we got in on Chain Guardians. We scooped up Chain Guardians a little bit of like about two weeks ago back here, about a dollar range. And now it has done a 2X, a clean 2X. So good to see for Chain Guardians. And Super Farm, there is news around the corner, guys. There is big, big developments coming from Super Farm around the corner. I have multiple sources and groups that I'm in that are saying that things are on the way. And there's a lot of things floating around that there's going to be gameplay. There's going to the, the game that they have been working on, Imposters, is eventually they're going to launch it. Uh, so a lot of news behind this is coming soon, as well as some potential partnerships. There's a lot on the table for Super Farm moving forward. And like I reiterated yesterday, their partnerships with Immutable X and the Sandbox are just the beginning. They have a big vision. Um, and a lot of people seem to not know this. Um, Elio... Elio Trades on YouTube is the founder of Super Farm. Um, he has a big vision for this project. And a lot of people thought it was a scam down here. A lot of people sold off because they weren't performing immediately. They weren't delivering their project as soon as they went public or like live for trading. Like it was just impatience. And people thought that Super Farm was a scam. Super Farm's been working behind the scenes, forming literal top level partnerships as far as Immutable X and Sandbox. And it's just 
massively undervalued. You take a look at Superfarm, 450 is the all-time high range back there uh, in, what would that be? Yeah, March. You're looking at 3, 4x potential here on Superfarm in Q4, and I can guarantee you huge things are around the corner. I expect a 3 to $5 Superfarm, 3 to $5 Superfarm uh, when this altcoin season is uh, absolutely going parabolic, which will be later in Q4 whenever altcoins are running. Uh, Atari token. Atari token is still massively undervalued. We gave this week on the channel last night. It's up 30% in the last 24 hours. But you look, when in doubt, zoom out. You take a look at the all-time highs back here as well. 65 cents back in April. And Atari has just been slow. This is an official Atari token. Atari is they back this project. This is not some like scam project. It's number 368 on market cap, but Atari token is a 500 million plus dollar coin. And I will tell you why. Atari token, even though on their description on their coin market cap, it only really says that it's trying to become the universal means of payment for the video game industry, allowing developers and publishers to use new options of monetization for their projects. Uh, they are also, they have a Atari blockchain games division that is working with a lot of AAA studios across the blockchain right now on a lot of different games that are in development that are coming out from 2022 all the way to 2025 uh, and beyond. So Atari token is not only you are you are backing Atari uh, and you are also backing the fact that they could integrate this payment. What if every single Atari blockchain game affiliated game eventually comes out with Atari token as the method of currency? This thing is going to absolutely take off. So Atari, love this project, 30% up right now, and I think it's got a lot of room to go still. A lot of people in my Telegram chat, which by the way, join the Telegram chat. We are giving out so much value for free right now in the Telegram chat. We're almost at 1,000 members in the Telegram. We just hit 14,000 subs on the channel. Absolutely insane. But we're giving out a lot of alpha in the Telegram chat. A lot of things are going down. A lot of information is being shared, and it's absolutely free. And that is in the bio down below, or in the description down below, uh, in the link in my bio. If you want to get some of this information early, uh, but Atari token, yes, literally yesterday, guys. It's still going. This thing has a long way to go, and it's got. It, this is going to be huge. I, I will just reemphasize that. Altura took a little bit of a dip today, and it was healthy. It was a healthy consolidation. I mean, we literally saw a 50% almost dip, and then it shot back up immediately and came back down. We're looking at about 32 cents today on Altura, which is good. It was healthy. It had 20x pumped in the last. It, I mean, it's like we're talking a massive, massive pump here. But if you're looking at the long-term scale here of Q4, Altura and their smart NFT platforms, you're looking at a billion dollar market cap here, in my opinion. I think you're seeing a dollar Altura at the end of Q4, at the end of the bull run, and I don't think that's a stretch. Uh, this market cap's gonna end up somewhere this run between 750 to a billion dollar plus market cap, in my honest opinion. Uh, smart NFTs are literally that's, that's what you are going to need to run an NFT game. As it, as it says, in-game items are a huge part of any video game and allow gamers to own digital assets. However, in-game items are centralized. So the API for creating smart NFTs on an open marketplace for transacting NFTs is huge. And that is exactly what Altura is here to do. And the even more undervalued Altura, this is a project that perform smart NFTs as well, made strictly for gaming. You look at the market cap here in comparison to Altura. Altura is getting a lot of hype. Altura is getting a lot of hype. Uh, and you take a look at their market cap, 212 million, right? Well, you go over to Phantasma when they're performing essentially the same function, even if Altura is the leader, even if Altura is the industry leader, if Altura goes to a billion dollar market cap, guys, Phantasma's going to 250, 500 million dollar market cap. And I think that's conservative. I really, really do. Um, this chart is not, it's, it's like, it's still a pretty new chart. You can't go back to like historicals, but we're not at all time highs right now. All time highs for Phantasma would look at $1.12, uh, and that was 12 hours ago. So we retested it. We're down 12% from from 12 hours ago. We told you yesterday on this channel, on this very channel, that 
Phantasma was undervalued. And I still think it is, guys. I think you can see a 2.5 to 5x on Phantasma in Q4, and I don't think that's a stretch. I think that if Altura keeps running and if Altura's market cap keeps ballooning as well up towards that billion-dollar range, I think that's a safe call for Phantasma, to be completely honest. And this is one of my favorite crypto gaming plays uh, for Q4 as well. Go ahead and take a look at their website, guys. Like I said, you won't find much that is unimpressive. Like everything they are doing is bullish, in my opinion. Polka City today took a nice dump as well. You take a look at this chart, but this, this thing was dead for a long time. It came alive. But if you were to zoom in on the 24 hour, we saw a lot of consolidation. We saw a sell off down here all the way to about a, it got lower than that. It was about $1.56 uh, from, from what I remember seeing today on the charts. Uh, but Polka City is now back up at $2.14 as we're seeing it here as of recording. $135 million market cap. It's a little high. These are just getting started. These are just getting started. The problem with the narrative out there that crypto gaming is going to slow down, it's not like this has been, like this is year one infancy stage. This is all going to be rolled out, integrated with the biggest thing that has hit 2021 as far as crypto, NFTs. NFTs have been the biggest craze. Whenever this integrates with games and with blockchain technology inside a metaverse, you see all these metaverses making moves. And I, I am of the ideology that maybe eventually every single blockchain, if blockchains don't become completely interoperable like a couple blockchains like Cardano and Phantom, they have the vision of every blockchain working together. But I do think that if these projects don't go interoperable and they stay you know, wanting to be just a singular blockchain operating on their own accord no matter what, Polkadot could have their own metaverse. You know, Polygon could have their own metaverse with Blocktopia. All these chains could potentially have a successful metaverse uh, for the big whales of each coin. They're going to want to participate in these NFTs, in these metaverses. And Polkadot, their metaverse and their ecosystem more so is exploding right now. We have parachains right around the corner. You have projects like uh, Polkadex, Polka Bridge. There's a lot out there that you can get involved in. So, I'm very bullish on this project. I don't think it's overvalued. Go look at the market caps on Blocktopia. Go look at Netvar Network, which is, I always call it Netvark. It's Network, technically, but I say it how it says on the screen, so don't mind me. But Network, you go look at its market cap. It's very undervalued. Network is at like 470 right now or something, but it's still going to flip, I think, two three more X's in this bull run. I really do. I think we see a $10 network at the end of this bull run. Uh, let's go ahead and get into IOI token. This one is a big time sleeper, guys. And this is one that I like credit to the di credit to the Telegram chat. Credit to the Telegram chat on this one because they scooped up some absolute value information. We all dug through the tea leaves and the alpha information that came through on IOI. So IOI, this project is super bullish. There's a lot of things to love about this project. And they're doing a lot uh, to upgrade their platform. They have, yeah, Trade Race Manager. Uh, Trade Race Manager is their mobile game. They have uh, Trade Race Manager 2 coming out, Rich Racer. They also have Cyber Trade, which is like a cyberpunk trading game game and what these games do the trade race manager built on polygon we're bringing unique trading game trade race manager with nfts in game internal marketplace and many more features we've made sure that our player base which has over a hundred thousand viewers users will keep growing they are on the google play store they are not on the app store yet but it is on the way and you take a look here it looks super super clean you see like your affiliate program your nfts which would be your vehicles all that good stuff uh, my team a leaderboard they're also coming out with a v2 of trade race manager rich racer and it's going to be a complete metaverse uh, and this one as well cyber trade take the fate of your nft in your hands uh, and you can become the boss of all bosses it's kind of like a cyberpunk uh, spin off a little bit and you just take a look at the marketplace looks super clean the integration on the mobile app uh, they have a wallet right on their platform their partners are strong uh, they're on the binance smart chain uh, open c gbv KuCoin, they're already listed on KuCoin. Uh, they are also invested in by OKEx. Uh, good to see that and AU21 Capital. I love this project and the value that this project has. 
uh, as far as growth potential. It's about a $20 million market cap right now. Um, and I got in earlier today about $2.60, uh, and this thing's already surging as well. This is one of those projects that if you get in on the Discord, then you're gonna get that value. Uh, it's already up 10% just in the little time we've talked about it in the Discord or in our Telegram chat. So join the Telegram if you want that good information early. Uh, but the next gen trading simulator. So the caveat in this game, guys, your trades are indicating how good your race goes. So you'll be able to predict the price of something uh, in the race or make a trade in a race and your vehicle will perform as the price action performs that you chose. So I really like that concept. It really integrates the blockchain in and you just see how clean this looks, right? Uh, even though this is like more of a trailer here, we do have a little bit of gameplay, uh, a little bit of demo gameplay as you see here. This is the current game right now, uh, current game build and the TRM2 user interface. So this is the current game's graphics with the user interface of the new game. So you see games, market, team, manage. Uh, we'll fast forward here, take a look at some cars. Edit your vehicle as you see your value, your winnings, your fuel on the left side, and it kind of gives you your whole uh, rundown of your vehicle. Very clean. You have a whole garage to your uh, for your vehicles. You take a look at like the earth. You have all your portfolio, your car race portfolios. You can go race in certain areas. All that good stuff. I really like the potential behind this game, and their cyber trade game also looks pretty solid. And here's an environment shot as well for the ioi upcoming trade race manager too and i really really like this set I, I it looks like grand theft auto this also looks like grand theft auto if you like it's it's hard to you don't want to overblow that but this looks exactly like like grand theft auto like san andreas like or like grand theft auto 3 grand theft auto 4 it's not like a grand theft auto 5 uh graphics i wouldn't say it, it could be comparable even, but I do think Trade Race Manager 2 and the IOI token that is backing uh, this project, I think that this is a very, very bullish platform. And IOI, by the way, does stand for Infinite On-Chain Industries. I absolutely love this. And shout out to the Alpha in the Telegram chat uh, for digging up this absolute gem. Uh, Yield Guild Games, guys, DAOs are blowing up right now. DAOs are maybe the next thing uh, after crypto gaming, after the metaverse narrative kind of cools down it could go into file coins security coins privacy coins and dow coin i think dows are the future Google guild games is a decentralized autonomous organization at dow that invests in virtual non-fungible tokens the organize the organization's objective is to develop the world's largest virtual economy optimizes assets to mass maximize utility and share revenues to stakeholders uh, so it's an autonomous organization where you're basically investing in and collecting in-game assets across the crypto gaming space and it is brought to you by a part of the team that lodged Axie Infinity and Urine Finance. Uh, DAOs are going to be absolutely huge guys. Yield Guild right now is number one in the space. It's about half a billion dollar market cap but it hasn't really pumped and it's not at its all-time highs. We saw all-time highs back in August at about ten dollars. It's kind of consolidated since then. It's in the 670 range. I actually don't think this is a this is a really value buy right now. I think that DAOs are going to be massive and a crypto gaming DAO will be something that people look towards uh, whenever they look for a project in the DAO sector whenever that narrative does come across uh, being able to invest in something like a DAO and have skin in the game on in-game assets and then another one that's coming up that hasn't even hit the market yet it's ICOing on Ignition the paid network uh, and I think it's like they say it's ongoing I think it's tomorrow um, it says it ends in 12 hours but Nonetheless, I'm a U.S. resident. I can't even take part. Aims to create the largest virtual world economy by sponsoring millions of play-to-earn gamers investing in play-to-earn games along with their in-game assets. This is Good Games Guild, Triple G. So I love the future of DAOs for gaming. I think it's a perfect way for a investor who doesn't want to particularly play a game uh go ahead and get involved and be able to have skin in the game as far as in-game assets go so i think these in-game asset guilds are going to be massive in the future uh, as far as just adoption and for whales who don't really want to play the game they can get involved in one of these dows and have skin in the game uh, so you take a look at mist guys and i want to mist used to kind of 
Their initial graphics, in my opinion, were lackluster. I, I didn't really think they were great. It's on the top here. And you see on the bottom, this is their revamped graphical look here. And this is Myst, the MMORPG game. We've talked about Myst before. The reason I'm so high on Myst, let's look back here. We're seeing Myst, their all-time highs back here were around 30 cents. We still have about a 2x room there. This market cap still has a lot of room to breathe as well. They're coming out with dev updates every single Sunday as far as graphics, gameplays, the NFTs, all that good stuff. Uh, they're really revamping the game as far as gameplay and as far as graphics. Like These are major differences. And this right here, as far as an MMORPG, looks very, very slick. I think Myst has good run-up potential. Uh, Remark. Remark is built on the Kusama network, and Gavin Wood himself uh, has endorsed this platform vocally. Uh, he said he thinks really, really highly of this platform. And 95% of the circulating supply is in circulation already, so it's very healthy. It's not really prone to like a dump from like an IDO launch or anything like that. Uh, Remark is basically the part of the Kusama network for broader NFT strategy and a way to use Kusama's network to be the, the currency of the Remark metaverses. Uh, and you take a look at their platform. It's the set of NFT Legos that are standalone, but allow the NFT creator to build a system of arbitrary complexity when putting them together. A set of blockchain standards or a set of standards on the Kusama blockchain making NFTs. So I love this platform. And one of those that could pump with Polkadot as far as the Polkadot narrative. And I do truly believe that. I think along with Polka City, Remark has some value as far as an NFT play within the Kusama and Polkadot uh, blockchains. Absolutely love everything that I covered today as far as a value buy right now. Everything is setting up for a great run in Q4. Healthy pullbacks on Altura. I love Phantasma. I think Phantasma is the next Altura. I think that if it, if and if Altura runs as far as its market cap, you're gonna see Soul follow right behind it with that smart NFT platform that is the same functionality. I really like Polka City to keep growing. I really do. And I think every time Polka Dot pumps, you're going to see the main metaverse of Polka Dot pump as well. IOI, absolutely bullish on this one. And at only a $20 million market cap, I think this is a very underrated token. You look at the all here, we're not at all-time highs yet. If we get up here, we could be in discovery mode as far as the 334 range. I'm very, very, very bullish on IOI token and the trade race manager game uh, that is coming up. That is probably my favorite project out of this whole video as far as the new projects we covered. Uh, but I'm very bullish on everything we covered here in this video. If you got value out of this video, or if we covered a project you are in on or have some thoughts on, let me know down below in the comments. Like the video if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more daily crypto gaming gems here on the channel. We are making gains here every single day in the Telegram and on the YouTube channel. Join the Telegram down below. Subscribe to the channel for more. I'll be back tomorrow with more crypto gaming gems, updates on the market, what buy-ins look good, projects that are at great entry points, all that good stuff, and value buys for the future as far as adoption. Uh, be sure to like the video, subscribe for more. I'm out. Peace, hustlers. Keep hustling. Stay bullish. Peace.